Jim does a good fast running. <laughs> so much else, not much else to say. Yesterday was windy, today it's not. Just when you think things are getting easy, the Volvo Ocean Race throws up a new challenge. Blistering trade wind sailing had given way to the fickle, changeable conditions of the Caribbean islands all too quickly. Who emerges with an advantage will depend on skill and judgement. It's times like these when navigators earn their keep. It's fraught with danger because you've tank with all the islands. But, um, at the moment we've got pressure and we're on the making jive, so it's not all bad. And then last night the wind directions lined up for us to uh, take a step to the west. So we did. And it uh, looks like Telefonica have stayed on starboard and Puma has done a couple of jibes in that time. So uh, now we've got the wind shifting back a little bit again. So yeah, it's certainly an interesting time in the yacht race. With the fleet compressed, it's decision time heading up the Caribbean. Any loss or gain could be decisive. So far, Puma have managed to hold off Camper's challenges for the lead, but they know this leg is far from over. We've got our opposition, um, one of them 17 miles astern, one of them 17 miles off the uh, starboard quarter, and uh, yeah, it's, um, who knows what lies ahead really. You know, it's been a phenomenal race to date, it's really just a shame that can't continue the pace because the two of us have, have obviously sailed quite well. We're pretty proud of that, but now roll them. We'll see, we'll see what happens up here. One boat hoping for surprises ahead, but hopefully no fishy business, is Abu Dhabi, who are making progress from the back of the fleet. A little bit of marinade in my drink bottle. Who committed this dastardly deed? Getting a bit of help here as we sail north out the trades. We're probably carrying more pressure than other boats. It's been a tough few days until now, so um, it's nice to have a smile on your face after two good position reports. Uh, we've still very much got a race on our hands with Group Armour. Uh, a lot of light air ahead of us, so uh, yeah, I think the leg's far from over already at this stage. Telefonica are still in the hunt and amongst the leading pack. But Olympic gold medalist Javi Fernandez has more pressing concerns. At night it's alright, but right now it's really hot. But that's how it is. I've run out of tops. I only have t-shirts. It's a shame. English beef. Or English fat. Over on Grupama, the lack of creature comforts was a common theme. It's a hard life at sea. The worst thing on legs like this is the humidity and the heat, uh, especially when yarn starts cooking or starts to run the engine. The worst thing is probably all the spots. The spots you develop everywhere, the rashes. It looks a bit like this. And uh, this is probably the best part of my body. I don't want to show the worst part because that would be a little bit obscene. You have uh, always someone next door, you sleep with your, someone's foot just next to your head. So it's, uh, it's very compact living. 